Alright, today we are going to talk about Takara, uh, Transformers Masterpiece number 28, Hot Rodimus. Uh, this is a Masterpiece figure. I did get it off a of Big Bad Toy Store. This is going to be a quick review. Uh, as always, if you want to see a full-on review of Transformations and stuff like that, go find a better reviewer. Uh, first and foremost, uh, as you can see on the box here, it is Hot Rod. He looks like Hot Rod. And there's not really much more to say about him. He does come with a couple things. Of course, he does come with this card, which I really like the artwork for. And he comes with a couple accessories. Uh, it comes with his two guns. He also includes the Disc of Doom that he uses in the movie to cut apart some robotic seaweed. And my favorite accessory for any Transformer ever right now, a fishing rod. All right, so let's go ahead and get him started. Let's do the big review. And reveal. Oh, wrong hot rod. This should be the Creo guy. He's always looking for his spot in the site in the uh, spotlight there. So here we go. Here is hot rod. Let me go ahead and adjust the camera here real quick. I think see he looks like hot rod. Um, <clears throat> futuristic sport car. Flamboyant colors, guns. The guns tab in here. You can also tab one in the engine block. It. It doesn't really fit for me, so I don't really do it, but it does look good as it is. It does look like a stylish, futuristic car. Uh, he does come with an additional gimmick, if I can remember how to get this open, where if you have a certain Matrix piece, I guess it can go in there, but I don't have that Optimus with that specific Matrix. But otherwise, as you can tell, it's pretty sleek looking. I'm going to take these guns out. See, they get in there and they don't want to come out. I don't like putting them in, but I did so just for this review. I'm going to go ahead and put these to the side. But let's go ahead and take a look. I mean, it's gorgeous. It is just an absolutely gorgeous car. They do a really good job of hiding a lot of features up front and on the sides. On the bottom, though, you do get visible hit syndrome and you do get to see the legs and all that. But otherwise, he is a fantastic looking car. Uh, he wheels don't exactly roll as well as I'd like, but it does work. Um, and he looks fantastic. I do have a couple other masterpieces. Um, I was going to do like a shot just showing you how he looks in comparison with you, but I don't really feel like transforming them. Uh, but that's the hot rod. It's the vehicle mode. Again, guns can tap in here and here. The engine block can lift up too, and you can tab a gun right in there. Again, it doesn't really fit well on mine. But, yeah, otherwise, he is fantastic. I'm not a big fan of the pinkish color, and I know they did that because it makes him look more like the cartoon character. And I'm not exactly the biggest fan of making everything look 100% Generation 1 in aesthetics and coloring. I think a lot of the best figures didn't exactly look like their original selves. I'm going to hit pause real quick. I'm going to do just a little quick changeover. I'm going to show a comparison to other hot rods in vehicle modes. I'll be right back. Now, just a quick comparison to the different hot rods over the years. Um, now, of course, I don't have a full collection, and I have a few Rodimuses in here as well, but just to bring out the point of it. So here we have the masterpiece right here. You see it's got a, like a pinkish tinge, but the basic design is mostly the same for most Rodimuses, with the primes um, being you know larger vehicles, a Winnebago, whatever the hell this one is. The cars tend to have... You know, the muscle car look with the spoiler, flames on it. Beautiful set. Now, I don't have Rodimus Unicronus in this shot only because I don't have enough room on the shelf, which is also why I don't have the Power of the Primes Rodimus in the Rodimus trailer because there's only so much room. But just a quick show off, just to show the comparisons, excuse the mess down below, of the various designs that he's had over the years through the different universes. Most of these are Generation 1. Uh, we do have a few other ones here. For example, this is a Cyberverse. That's animated. Titanium. Uh, the Last Night, World War II mode. Um, but for the most part... Oh yeah, and Enderjohn. But for the most part, as you can see, they tend to have the same design. Now, uh, this one, of course, would have a gun here, and you can put one of these guns here. It's just doesn't look right to me if you have two different guns. But that's just to show you the quick look at the vehicle modes and how he compares, especially in size. Um, right next to him, of course, is Generation 1. 
just to give you a little size comparison for him. And he looks great. I'm not a big fan of the pink, but I know masterpieces are going for the animated look. Even though I'm not a big fan of the anime designs necessarily, um, but you can see it, it looks like Hot Rod. It looks like Rodimus. It's beautiful in that very 80s um, overdone kind of way. But yeah, so let's just look at the vehicle mode. Um, next, I'm going to show you the robot mode. One thing I want to talk about real quick while trying to transform him. Um, I don't know if this is the same for everybody, but this tab here, it's supposed to tab into this spot here, and it does not like to line up well. The problem is, is there's a spot up front you have to have a line perfectly correct, and it's a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's just mine. I just got it in, but... Just something to be aware of if you do decide to get the figure. There is a couple tabs that just don't like to line up, and they're very fragile looking. I'm almost worried about getting stress marks. But, uh, otherwise, he is pretty much good to go. Let me go ahead and set him up, and then I'll set the camera up here. All right. Looks like he's good. He is fantastic. Here we go. This is oops i forgot a step here and again tabs just do not like lining up on him all right get back in there there you go hot rod in his robot mode it is a beautiful beautiful sculpt for the most part um, of course, it is far from perfect. As you can see, there are a couple like little steps that if you kind of forget about them, you forget about them. Oh, this damn arm. Alright, sorry about that folks. I had to fix that arm. It just would not tab in correctly. Um, again, as I said just a few moments ago, the tabs on this can be a little bit wonky. Uh, so here's Robot Mode. He looks like Hot Rod. He's fantastic. He's got his flame chest. Uh, he's got a pair of bell-bottom shoots, pants, whatever you want to call them. Shoots, shoes. Fantastic, fantastic looking sculpt for the most part. I'm not a big fan of this part here. It just doesn't look right. Um... Makes him look a little bit beat up and boxy looking. But otherwise, he is gorgeous. Let's go ahead and bring him in here so you can get a little bit closer look on his face. It looks like Hot Rod. You almost expect Judd Nelson or Dick Gautier to start talking. Oops. Dick Gautier, of course, is famous for playing uh, Serpentor for many of you guys. But for me, he'll always be high me from Get Smart. Why aren't you standing up? You're the best of my MPs when it comes to standing up. Come on. But yeah, fantastic looking look here. Uh, the chest piece still can open up if you have that correct matrix. He does have a feature here, a nice little gimmick, where if you pull it up, he has got a pair of goggles that flip down. So you can recreate one scene he did in the movie. And just one scene. I don't even think the scene is more than five seconds long. But uh, let's go ahead and do this. It'd be easier if I had fingernails, but I don't. But eh, now he's Nerdimus Prime. As far as articulation goes, he's got pretty good articulation, um, especially because they don't. This arm doesn't tab in, but it goes side to side. He's got double jointed elbow. Fingers actually can open up a little bit. Knee legs can go about that high. He's got a nice little bend. He's got ankle tilt. He's a fantastic figure with a minor few adjustments. I know a lot of people are gonna bitch about backpack, but. I don't have a problem with backpacks. They make sense. Um, my one big gripe, other than the tabs and these pieces, is you can't store his weapons on him. And I think that's too bad. Um, sorry about that. I had a phone call come in. Where was I? Uh, get yeah, weapon storage. Uh, one of the things I like about my other MPs, with the exception of my Optimus Prime, is the weapons can all store. And this one doesn't have it, which is too bad. 
then again, it all depends on what you want to display anyways, and I'm not going to have all the guns out. Um, guns, of course, standard masterpiece gun. You bring down the folds, they have tabs, they tab into little slots on the hand. They don't really fit. I don't really use them anyways. That's not the accessory I'm going to use. He does come, like I said, with that spinning blade to get that. Go back to the transformation sequence. You open up this panel. You can do it on either arm. But, go ahead, you do that. You take the pizza cutter of doom. And now he can go to the beach and have some fun. The accessory that I like the most is the fishing rod. And I just like it because it's so stupid for an accessory. But it gives me great joy. It doesn't tab in. Instead, all you do is open up the hand, you place it in there as best you can. Come on, don't make a liar out of me. And voila, he can go fishing. And because he has this weird ab roll, you can actually kind of sit him down and do fish positions like he's sitting at the beach. Or at the pond or whatever you want to call where he catches that big fish in the movie. Unlike... You and McGregor, Hot Rod actually catches a real big fish. Don't call me on that. I don't really remember that movie. Um, but just to show you, he does look good. He looks fantastic. He looks like Hot Rod. And just to prove the point, I'm going to bring in some other Hot Rod. Now, unlike with the vehicle one, I'm only going to stick to Generation 1 expi and Generation One characters. I'm going to keep his goggles on him, though. Here he is with my commemorative series hot rod from 2002, maybe 2001. Here he is with the Classics 2.0. Let's see, who's next? Titan's Return, if it would stand up. <sighs> Original Generation 1 Commemorative Series, Rodimus Prime. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, my roommate, the dog, started to bark, and I wanted to edit that part out. Um, also, I needed to readjust the camera, because there's a couple of other Rodimuses I need to put in there. Um, <clears throat> before I got the Masterpiece figure... I consider this one to be my ultimate hot rod, and that's the Power of the Primes one. And I also have Combiner Wars, which is going to be a little bit small. And the MicroMaster figure that came with the re-release of Star Convoy. I'm going to have to pull out here just a second. And I'll throw the Creo back in there, only because I really like him. Even though his head just fell off. Get back on. As you can see, hot rods. They all have that generic hot rod look. Uh, bright colors, flame chest. Usually they have a nice red. Um, unfortunately, like I said, the masterpiece is movie pink or magenta, whatever you want to call that. I have, really don't know the name of the color. But otherwise, you know, it's hot rod. It's fantastic. Uh, my Galvatron figures are going to have nightmares about them, as is Unicron. So yeah. If you are interested, you can usually find him. He's about $70 in Big Bad Toy Story. I've also seen him on Robot Kingdom and a few other sites around that same price. But, yeah, they've been barking now for five straight hours. And there's no reason. There's no one even here except for me. They're just barking for the sake of barking. But I digress. Um, if you're a fan of Hot Rod, it's obviously a great figure to get. Um, if you're not a fan of him or if you feel like he's the murderer of Optimus Prime, then he isn't for you. But... For the rest of us, he is a great figure. Um, he does compare very well. He's taller than the G2 side spike. And I want to say about the same size as Rotor Age. And my Hasbro Masterpiece Optimus just towers over everything anyways. But yeah, that's Hot Rod. Um, thank you for watching.